Now to an alarming new study that estimates in Chicago that nearly 70% of children under six years old are exposed to lead-contaminated drinking water. CBS's Charlie DeMar reports on the latest major city to face this widespread problem. Tonight, danger lurking in Chicago's drinking water, according to a new study that used AI to estimate lead levels in unfiltered tap water over a seven-year period. Benjamin Wynn is the study's lead researcher. You know, the goal is to have zero lead in water at all. And we know from the science that even small amounts of lead in the water can have an impact on your child. Black and Hispanic children are more likely to be affected and less likely to have their household water tested, according to the study estimation. I don't think we need to be alarmist. It's not as bad as the Flint crisis. Your kid's not going to be hospitalized from the levels of lead that we're seeing. But even these low levels of lead, these are things that can affect your child without you noticing. Lead in drinking water is a nationwide issue. Children in Flint, Michigan, were found to have learning delays after the lead water crisis began there 10 years ago. Today, Chicago's Department of Water Management told CBS News it has an issue with the study's methodology, saying its results only indicated whether there is a lead service line, not routine exposure. Chicago environmental advocate Shakina Perry is calling on the city to immediately replace lead water pipes. So not only is this a public health crisis, but it's also an environmental justice issue. And so when you look at it through that lens, um, that should create a sense of urgency to say that we can't wait any longer. The Biden administration has vowed to remove all lead pipes nationwide. Here in Chicago, the Department of Water Management says it's already introduced programs to remove the, city, the city's 400,000 lead service lines and offers residents with free water testing. Nora. Charlie DeMar, thank you.